Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over 20 tips that I found in the time I've been using my Steam Deck for about a year and a half. These tips range from beginner to advanced in no particular order, and I'll bet that you don't know all of them. If you learn anything, be sure to leave a comment below and consider subscribing to the channel for more Steam Deck content. With that, let's get right into the tips. Forget which Steam button cords do what? Hold the Steam button down for a few seconds to see a shortcut cheat sheet. You might know about taking a screenshot with the Steam button and right bumper, but did you know you could also take a screenshot with the three dot button and right bumper? You can use the three dot button and the left analog stick for quick brightness adjustments without needing to bring up the overlay, which can be really useful when there's a dark scene in an otherwise bright game or if the sun starts shining down mid-game. Looking at your library and wondering where some of your games are? Make sure to set your library filter to all games rather than just deck verified games. Get more stable FPS in games by disabling the SteamOS frame limit and using the in-game VSync instead. Alternatively, if you value low input latency, then try disabling VSync altogether in both the overlay and in-game, and toggle Disable Frame Limiter on in the overlay. You might get some screen tearing, but you'll have really low input latency. Do you ever want to see a more accurate depiction of the battery level without needing to bring up the battery submenu in the quick access menu? Toggle Battery Percentage on in the general settings to get an exact readout. If you want to personalize your deck a bit, or if you have several and you want to be able to see which is which on the network, name your Steam Deck in system settings. The name you give will be reachable on your local network, so if you ever need to SSH or SFTP into it, you don't need to remember the IP address. Do your downloads seem a little slow, or do you want to prolong the life of your storage devices? Run trim on your drives with Run Storage Device Maintenance Tasks in the system settings. Some longtime viewers might recognize Trim from my CryUtilities 1.0 video, as I actually implemented this function before Valve did, but don't worry since it does the exact same thing. If you ever need to go offline or won't have reliable access to the internet, set offline mode before doing so, and you'll be able to play most of your games without Steam complaining at you. Have a few friends that boot games often or mod and you keep getting notifications that they're now playing something different? Disable friend notification toasts if you want to stop the spam. If you want a more vibrant display, go to adjust display colors in the display menu and play with the sliders. If you're in game, it'll even show you the game you're playing so that you can tune it to your liking. A quick note on this. The LED model can get much more colorful and vibrant than the LCD model, but both of them have this functionality. Using your deck in bed or at night and don't want it to cause so much eye strain? Toggle night mode in display settings and it'll set the display to warmer colors. It might look a little off at first, but your eyes will adjust and be much more relaxed for it. If your LCD deck's fan is a little too loud, then you might want to consider some thermal modding. I haven't tested it on my OLED deck, so I can't recommend it with good conscience. But we saw huge thermal and acoustic gains for the LCD deck in this video over here. If you want to use the Steam Deck as a full computer, including web browsers and even entire development environments, just boot into desktop mode and have fun with it. Need more software for your deck? Check out the Discover Store by clicking the shopping bag in the bottom bar and install all sorts of things. If you're using the deck in desktop mode and want to browse files, use the folder icon in the bottom bar and make sure to toggle Show Hidden Files in the hamburger menu in the upper right. By default, any file or folder beginning with a period character is hidden from view, and this will show them. If you have a lot of games to download and don't want your deck to go to sleep, change the sleep settings in the display menu near the bottom. If you don't want to permanently change your sleep settings for some reason, but still want your deck to stay awake for a time, boot into desktop mode, click the battery icon in the lower bar, and toggle manually block sleep and screen locking to keep the deck awake 
while in desktop mode or until rebooted. And lastly, if you want to emulate consoles on the deck, which is a great experience, I highly recommend using EmuDeck to make the setup incredibly easy. My friend Russ from Retro Game Core has a great video on how to set it up, so make sure to go over there and check it out after this video. Alright, that is 20 tips for the Steam Deck, from quality of life to performance, and I'll bet you didn't know at least one of them. As always, thank you to my patrons, YouTube members, and super thanks for supporting me while I whittle away at Baldur's Gate 3 to get you the absolute best settings to play on deck. If you learned anything in this video, please make sure to leave a like and comment what you learned down below. I really hope this helped everyone enjoy the deck just a little more. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.